Hi, this is Freya Berg of NetApp. In the next couple minutes, I'm going to demonstrate the cumulative impact of NetApp storage efficiency technologies in a Microsoft virtualized environment. You're going to see how simple it is to provision volumes and LUNs in a NetApp environment, and I'll also show you how NetApp technologies such as dynamic LUN resizing, thin provisioning, and deduplication can be layered on to achieve dramatic space savings. I'm also going to show you, in the process, the fastest, easiest way to extend the life of your existing storage investment by recovering unused space. To begin with, I'm going to go ahead and put on my storage admin hat and use System Manager to create a volume, which can then be used to create LUNs to store your virtual machines. First thing I'm going to do is choose an aggregate to create my volume in. Now, I'll go ahead and create my volume. Let's call it Hypervol. I'm going to use SAN since we'll be creating LUNs in it. I'll put this in an aggregate called VeggieBoo, and I'm going to size this out at about 100 gigabytes. Now I'll hit Create. We're going to then use this volume to create LUNs, which will be used to create the virtual machines. For the purposes of this demo, I want to show you the impact of NetApp efficiency technologies. So I'm going to start this without enabling any of our efficiency technologies. Next, I'm going to put on a server admin hat and use SnapDrive for Windows to provision LUNs for the server from the newly created volume. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the Create Disk option to create a LUN. This is going to launch the Create Disk Wizard, which will step me through creating a LUN on the storage system. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose my storage system. Then I'm going to select the volume I've just created, and I'll create my LUN. So let's call this HyperLUN. Click Next. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the default options for a standalone LUN on the storage system. And I'll size this at 25 gigabytes. Click Next. I'm going to choose the appropriate initiator. And then I'll click Next and hit the Finish button. SnapDrive for Windows will automatically create the LUN on the storage system and will map it to the host server. Now behind the scenes, I'm going to create a second LUN and populate the newly created disks with a copy of the master template VHD. Now what you see is that we have two LUNs with 25 gigabytes each. Note that we're storing only about 10 gigabytes of data, which has been copied onto the second LUN. And on each LUN, we have 10 gigabytes of data with the remaining 15 gigabytes unused. So now putting back on my storage admin hat, I'm going to go back and take a look at how much space is actually being used. Although we only have 20 gigabytes of data actually used, you'll see our space usage is at 50%, which reflects the 50 gigabytes across the two LUNs. This is a classic case of over-provisioning. In a traditional environment, it's painful to reclaim over-provisioned space. However, you're not looking at a traditional environment. A unique benefit of combining Microsoft virtualization with NetApp storage is that you can use SnapDrive for Windows to resize your LUNs dynamically. This feature is also useful when there's a critical need to create a new LUN and there's no space left in the volume. You can simply resize your existing LUNs to make space for the new one. To apply NetApp efficiency technologies, let's start by clicking on the resize disk. So the first thing we need to do is decide what we want to resize this to. For the purposes of this demo, we know we only have about 10 gigabytes of unique data used. So I'm going to say 15 gigabytes to allow some overhead. In the real world, you might be doing a cleanup for test dev, or maybe you've just completed an assessment of storage capacity and you know what your trends are looking like. Now, before I hit Create, I'm going to remove the Snap Reserve option, because in a couple steps, I'll be creating a dynamic LUN, which will consume space as it grows. Click OK to resize the LUN. Now, behind the scenes, I'm going to resize the second LUN as well. What you see is, once both LUNs have been resized, the data has remained intact and the VMs have continued to run. As we check the percentage used, you can see we've actually cut our usage from 50% to 30%. This is only one NetApp efficiency technology. You can also save additional space by layering on NetApp thin provisioning. With thin provisioning, instead of allocating your storage space up front, you're going to set up your LUN to dynamically expand as more space is required. To thinly provision, you're just going to select the LUN and uncheck the Reserve button to create a dynamic volume. I'll go ahead and thinly provision the second LUN as well. In essence, you're not giving someone 100 gigabytes just because they're asking for it. You're giving them the 5 gigabytes they actually need, and you can expand as needed. So when we look back at storage usage, you can see we've reduced our usage even more from 30% to 21%.
you can save even more space by layering on NetApp deduplication. Let me step you through how you enable deduplication on a volume. The first thing you do is click the volume, and you're going to click the Edit option, and then choose the deduplication tab. Now we're going to enable deduplication on the volume and run deduplication manually, although you can see there are quite a few different scheduling options. Now before starting, take a look in the upper right-hand corner, and you can see we're at about 21% space usage. Since this is the first time I'll be running deduplication, I'm going to do a full volume deduplication, which might take a little while. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward that part of this. And once deduplication is complete, you can see that we've cut our storage usage down to 9%. So in this demo, you can see that I've effectively reduced storage usage from 50% to 9%, which sounds about right since we started with only about 10 gigabytes of unique data. Now what you've just seen are some of the benefits that NetApp customers are able to derive today using just a few NetApp efficiency technologies. Of course, most of our customers are following NetApp best practices, so they usually start out at the 9% or whatever is appropriate for their environment. To wrap things up, in this demo I've shown you how easy it is to provision storage in a Microsoft virtualized environment, and I've highlighted the cumulative impact of several NetApp efficiency technologies. I've also shown you how easy it is not only to grow space on the fly in a Microsoft on NetApp environment, but to actually shrink a line on the fly without any impact to your end users. And that is part of the magic of running Hyper-V on NetApp.